This is an exciting day. I am so delighted to send greetings to all of you at the American University of Afghanistan. As you come together to mark the beginning of the semester, to commemorate the opening of the International Center for Afghan Women's Economic Development, and to celebrate the critical role that women are playing in the future of Afghanistan. Over the last 11 years, Hillary Clinton, first as First Lady of the United States, as Senator, and now as Secretary of State, has been a voice for the women of Afghanistan. She has recognized that women are essential to creating a better future for your country. During this period, I have also met with countless courageous and inspirational Afghan women leaders from all walks of life. Afghan women have made enormous strides. In 2001, life expectancy in Afghanistan for women was just 44 years of age. Today, it is 62 years. Back then, almost no girls went to school at any level. Today, nearly 120,000 Afghan girls have graduated from high school. 15,000 are enrolled in universities, and nearly 500 women are on university faculties. Here at AUAF, for the first time, women make up half of the entering class. And thanks to the United States Embassy in Kabul, a hundred five-year university scholarships have been provided to talented young Afghan women to support their continuing education. Afghan women are everywhere today. They hold office at the national, provincial, and local levels. They are serving on the High Peace Council and in provincial peace councils. And of utmost importance as well to note on this occasion is that so many women are opening and running businesses of all kinds. Afghan women are also vital to the agriculture sector. So it is essential to continue to expand these achievements and to grow progress no matter what obstacles are encountered every day. That's why institutions such as the International Center for Afghan Women's Economic Development are so critical to building the capacity and leadership of Afghan women entrepreneurs so that they can meaningfully participate and contribute economically to their country. One of the key roles of the center will be to lead public and private sector efforts to advance the role of women, both nationally and around the globe, in Afghanistan's economic growth efforts. It will become the hub for Afghan businesswomen, female entrepreneurs and associations to better coordinate and create stronger networks. It will also provide programs to train and educate women business leaders and female entrepreneurs. And most importantly, it will be Afghan-led so that Afghan businesswomen can work together and exchange ideas with each other in business. This is essential to the long-term success of the center, and it is essential for the economic progress and stability of Afghanistan. There's a wealth of data today that show that the importance of growing small and medium-sized enterprises, how important they are to growing economies. They are accelerators for GDP. All of us, whether we work in government, in civil society, in the private sector, in academia, we must all work together to build on the successes that have been made and to continue our support for the women of Afghanistan. The future stability and progress of Afghanistan will depend in large measure on whether its women are able to live up to their full potential 
in every sector of Afghan society. So to all of you gathered at AUAF today, know that we stand by you as we stand with you as we work together to build a brighter future for generations of young women and men to come.